have the human rule. First of all, in order to understand what's the nano rule, we have to talk a little bit about the nanotechnology and the nanometers. So, let us know what's the nanotechnology.
managed to graduate from influenza and another infection could uh, be <coughs> could be a reversible uh, uh, factor. And and now we will uh, know uh, in what way does the damage human organize. Every meningococcal bacterium is surrounded surrounded by a slimy outer coat that contains
with applications in both human and animal health.
So we can uh, see the difference between the two image, image and the uh, clearly details in the right one, in which we uh, use the nanoparticles uh, as uh, contact again. Now, let us speak about an adjustment to which uh, this topic is a nanopot. What's a nanopot? A nanopot is a robot constructed from a nanoscale uh, component. Nanopods could uh, one, day, uh, one day be injected into the body to treat disease by de uh, delivering uh, drugs or perform a surgery. Nanopods could also perform an observation function uh, where they uh, check the uh, that the body is healthy and uh, detect disease very clearly. Nowadays, the uh, researchers are continuing in order to use the uh, to use the nanopods uh, to uh, to clean our arteries. So, in the end, let us sum up the information we have here and make important. At first, meningococcal prominent meningitis is a deadly bacterial disease for which probable uh, diagnosis can be uh, critical uh, to prevent it and the uh, permanent uh, side effects. Gold nanoparticles have, uh, uh, have been used by Australian scientists to develop a rubber and sensitive uh, test for many meningitis. Gold nanoparticles are the focus of many health tools certain, uh, certainly in development, targeted uh, and uh, diagnosed and treated. Thank you.